In today's video, we are going to create a kinetic type animation inspired by Matt Voice. A lot of you have asked me to break down his kinetic type animation style. Now, before anything, I just want to give a huge shout out to Matt Voice and its amazing works. Check the link to his Instagram and Behance to get more inspiration. Now, let's break Matt's animation. We can achieve this animation in three steps. One is the background and texture design. The second one is the letter animation and the third one is the match cut between the two words. Now, one thing that I like about the math animation is that he respects the principle of animation so much, most of its animations start with an anticipation following to the main action. Now, the golden trick is very simple. When the animation morphs, the second word is getting stylized by a path animation. This is a step where you can get creative and make the animation better. Now, overall, we are not going to copycat this animation. We are just going to get inspiration and animate our own project. Now, let's take a moment and talk about this upcoming Black Friday. Folks over AE Juice are having the greatest discount of all time. They have put 98% off on the I Want All bundles. The actual price worth around 8500 which you can buy it only for $149 you will have access to 103 high quality packs which you can use for Adobe After Effects, Adobe Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve. Don't miss out this great opportunity and use my links down in the description to apply 98% discount and buy it today. Now let's start with the video. Alright so here we are inside of Adobe After Effects and now let's begin. So I'm just going to click on new composition to set up a composition. The width and height is set on 1080 by 1080 the duration is 5 seconds which is fine. Alright, on the next step what I need to do is that I need to create the background for my design. Now I'm just going to use the AE Juice Pack Manager to design the background. Now as soon as you open the Pack Manager you will be represented with a lot of templates that you can use for almost every project. And the thing is that when you highlight on them, for example, I'm just going to highlight on the Flash FX, you will see the preview of the and template. Now what I'm going to do is that I need a textured background so I'm just gonna search for texture. Now as you see we will have six packs that contains texture so I'm just gonna open the film texture and as soon as you open you will see that we will have a lot of you know options so I'm just gonna open the still frames and let's just um, for example bring one of them. I'm just gonna bring this one and I'm gonna double click on it and as soon as you do that, um, a Juice is going to download it and it's going to import it to your After Effects composition. And I'm just going to resize it a bit. So let's just use the scale tool to resize these. So that should be good. Okay, this is good. Now since the image uses the uh, black and white transparency, we can use the tint effect to colorize it. So I'm just going to change the white color to let's say a purplish color and let's just, okay, set it on white. And now let's just work on scale again. So this is good. Okay. This border seems fine to me. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to create a solid background. And I'm just going to add a fill effect. And let's just change it to black background like this. All right. So here's the background design that we have in here. And I'm just going to push the um, pack manager towards here because we're going to need it in future. All right, now it is time to design our text. So I'm just going to start with the word, for example, full. Now the font is set on Dbus new and the font weight is set on teen, which is good. I'm just going to go towards the line tab and I'm going to make sure that it's aligned to the middle. Now on the next step, what we need to do is that we need to sort of animate a morphing animation for these two letters. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to duplicate this letter one more time. And this time I'm just going to do a quick trick. I'm just going to sort of change the word to 
full with the triple O and I'm just gonna mm, decrease the distance between words to something like this and also let's just change its font weight from thin to let's say a middle one oh the middle is too intense let's just check it on book I think I feel like the book should be good now what I'm going to do is that I'm just gonna create shapes from these two text layers and I'm just gonna delete the text layers we don't need it anymore and let's start with the only one layer and I'm just gonna create a basic animation so I'm just gonna press S to reveal the scale and let's just set the anchor point on middle for both of these shape layers and what I'm going to do is that I'm just gonna set a keyframe I'm gonna go a few frames forward and I'm gonna start making an anticipation movement by decreasing the scale to 85% now on one second I'm just gonna scale up the animation and on two seconds I'm just gonna bring it back to its original position so we will have something like this okay that is good now what I'm going to do is that I'm just gonna apply the standard easings and I'm gonna press shift plus F3 to go towards the graph editor and let's just fit the graph to our screen now the anticipation start with a rough movement so I'm just gonna bring the right handle towards left so we'll have some sudden movement and then when it's on the middle I'm just gonna give each handle about let, let's say 75 mm, 70 percent influence so that is good and then i'm just gonna suddenly push it down push the left and the old towards right something like this or we can make it even rougher let's see how how much we can okay that's not good so let's just go okay now this is all right now what i'm going to do is that let's just rebuild the second layer and i'm gonna parent the second layer to the first one so in that way the second layer will follow the first layer movement which is exactly what we want okay let's just solo it it's good and let's just hide this one to see if it's on the middle no it is not so we're just gonna have to sort of fix it manually okay this is good now it is time to create a match cut between these two layers so what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to reveal the first layer and usually the match cut should happen at the maximum peak of speed so i'm just going to press shift plus f3 to reveal the keyframe so this will be the maximum peak of speed so i'm just gonna get back to the layers and i'm gonna cut the beginning of the second layer and I'm gonna trim the end of the first layer so we will have something like this I feel like this should happen a little bit sooner so I'm just gonna go for here okay that is good now on the next step we need to bring back the text to its original shape so what I'm going to do is that I'm just gonna duplicate this layer I'm just gonna for example I'm just gonna extend it to here and when the shape is almost in here I'm just gonna cut the beginning of it and I'm gonna cut the end of the second layer so we will have something like this so as you see the positions are not matching this is why we have this issue so this is really important I'm just gonna again try to you know sort of um, place them in order so let's just set it on here and then parent it all right so let's just set it on two seconds all right so here's the basic animation that we have in here now it comes to the juiciest part which is adding the path animation to the second layer so to do that i'm just gonna use the crazy shapes and i'm gonna set a path keyframes 
and now we can just uh, let's just hide the layers in here so I think this is about here so I'm just gonna start adjusting the letters so I'm just gonna for example select these F layers So this will be like this. However, we need to adjust the scale a bit. So I'm gonna go towards here. And let's just decrease it down a bit. All right, this looks good to me. Now let's get back to the pack manager one more time. And this time I'm just gonna add a, let's say a crunch noise texture. So this texture seems good and I'm gonna add it to the design. And let's set its mode on the screen. And let's just bring it back to here. That is good. And lastly, let's just add a post rest time. So I'm just going to create a new adjustment layer. Let's add a post rest time and let's set post rest frame. And let's set the frame rate on 12. So as you see, we will have something like this, which is the final result. And I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave out a like and subscribe to the channel as it would help me out a lot. Thank you so much. Goodbye.